One of the most important thing you may do in your application is interaction between your components. Now passing data from parent component to child component is fairly straightforward. Just add input property like this and then your binding starts. So whereas passing data from child component to parent component is a bit different since we are all aware of Angular that it has a top-down approach. So the flow will start from a root to the child. Okay, so not the other way around. In this use case, patient component is a parent and the drug component is a child. This is a parent and we are calling the drug component from patient component. So if you can look here, uh, the drug component is here and the pa patient component is over here. Okay, and the drug, com drug component, we close it out and drug component uh, fetches an API which has a list of uh, which brings the list of uh, available drugs and the API is obviously get called from this data service what I'm doing is just calling the HTTP interceptor and creating my own um, response it's not the actual API response it's just the mock data so I'm just intercepting the get drugs uh, from the URL and then returning the drugs information through here so you can you know you can use this as a reference to mock your data so which will be very useful for testing or in case if the API is not available so we are actually getting data a mock data from um, from the API and this is irrelevant so this patient ID and things in real world you might need a patient ID or any ID to fetch some information based on those ID so the ID that I'm passing is it's pretty much from uh, from the input binding over here from the patient component you know the the on in it you are setting an id which is obviously a fake id so it goes around this flow okay so it's pretty much understandable that the drug components handles the available drugs which is from the api so that's the crux of this matter okay for this use case scenario and the idea is the, the result that we are getting in screen is something like this. So this is from a separate API from our network and you can see it over here. So the idea is, you know, you might do some interaction in the in the drug components, which is this part. And at the end of the flow, you might um, need those information. For example, you might have um, order you might have refill or you might you might be there might be a text box that says that this many number of refills and the available drugs must be this number or you might even add a comment or delete them i don't know there may be like numerous interactions uh, inside this component may happen you know use case scenario wise speaking okay so whatever the changes whatever the changes that happens here in the confirm order like this is the from the parent component let's just say it's from the some other component okay so when you do this when you confirm the order you need this information here in the parent component okay so we all know that we can pass from the parent to the child component okay so but we don't we don't have a, uh, we need to find a way to pass this information to the parent component which holds the uh, which holds all the child components okay now this is where the view child comes in view child is basically a decorator function and if you go here to the parent component parent component is patient component and if you go there we can declare something called view child and the name of the selector which is basically our component that we need to get information from and the name and and your local field name and obviously the type of your uh, field okay which is each of component right so if you if i hover you can get information the selector obviously is a function or a type okay so the type is basically drug component and the static bit over here this the, the second param is the options or ops uh, by the view child okay so um the to talk about the static true or false you know we need a separate video for that but for now in most cases static set to false is a is kind of a uh, best practice okay but in the newer versions of angular like presumably angular 9 static is set to false as a default okay and um, the statics true or false uh, deals with the change detection mechanism as well right so why what does it have to do with the change detection it has to do with, it has to deal with on init and after view init if you set the static as false 
your drug component information okay all the variables all the fields uh, in your class will be reflected only after view in it and if it is set to true it will uh, you will get all the information in the on it i don't have a better use case to describe about the static true or false but i can demonstrate uh, this scenario where when it is false what happens and when it is true it comes to the after in it so i made the changes the static is false so all the information in on in it it is undefined but in the after view in it it shows up when i come up with a use case for this i will definitely share a video on this because it's kind of a large subject to deal with and to add to this point right um when i mean the static uh, when you plan to generate a template on the fly okay we can make use of this this options okay so when i turn them to true let's see what happens now your component information is ready in the on in it life cycle okay so this is you know pretty much about the static for the view child okay so let's not worry more about this because this it's this subject itself uh, as a sep needs a separate video to talk about and finally now finally using this method using the view child and the drug component field okay we can get information if you see over here we can get the information about the field in a class um, so all the available drugs are here now let's just say we have, we have done some manipulations data manipulation in the drug component and your available drugs have changed let's assume that okay so using this method okay using this way you can go straight away to the confirm and confirm is basic is just that uh, just a button that binds to a confirm method so let me clear that out and when you do a confirm order your available drugs will be available in the uh, confirm method and further you can you might be doing some some operations some adding uh, adding this information to a larger object okay so this is pretty much about accessing child component information through view child okay and remember that in most cases setting the static to false is considered a best practice so by doing this, we are just calling our child reference, that is the drug component available drugs, which contains a list of drug information for us. And this is one way of passing data from child uh, to parent component. Right, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you find this video useful and do share it with your friends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.